Take this from me, it's freaking hot. What, what? All right, man. I guess this mouse is so hot the cameraman can't even hold onto it. Hey, what's going on, gang? I'm Elric, and you guys are once again back on the tech home world. Tech of tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. Today, we're bringing you the blazing red Theron programmable gaming mouse. It's actually used by a guy over in Taiwan. We'll just shorten his name real quick right now to Apollo. But basically, this thing is from the Theron series from Thermal Take. This is one of their really cool gaming mice. And these things actually come right now in about, I think, six different colors. And it actually changes to a bunch of different colors as well. But they right now have yellow, green, blue, red, just all kinds of them. So with that said, let's do the unboxing and overview and see what this shiznik's all about. All right, folks, now let's check out the front of the box. Now you guys can see they got this thing all red and it's all flying on fire. We got the TE sports on the left, their little emblem on the right like a dragon. You can see it's the Theron Gaming Mouse, blazing red. It's got a function lock button. It says battle mode, RTS game, battle. It's got onboard memory and seven individual colors. Now let's go ahead and let's pop the box open. Where you guys can see it says on the fly sensitivity adjustment levels from 100 to 5600 DPI. Beneath side light change by clicking frequency during battle mode, which means if you're clicking a bunch of times, the light in the bottom is actually going to change colors. It also has a pause break lighting system on the logo to engage gaming atmosphere. So basically it's gonna light up different colors, making it look just cool as shit when you're gaming. You've also got different weight adjustments. You can do five different weight adjustments. And you guys can see the polling rate there is from 125, 500, or 1,000 different cycles. Also has a customized graphic user's interface GUI for personalized macro keys, advanced performance, and light options. You guys can all see that. And then on the right, we actually see the mouse in the box. Flip it around real quick. On the back of the box, you guys can see they got the Theron logo. We got the TT Apollo Softball Taiwan. He's a professional StarCraft II player from the Taiwan Esports League. He's got his little signature there. Once again, it just says five weight adjustments and the Omron button switching provides light to touch click activation while staying durable for a lifespan of five million clicks. So basically this thing's gonna last next to forever. With that said, let's get it out of the box and take a close up. All right, folks, so now you guys can see we've got this thing all outside of the box here. you got a carrying case. All your drivers and everything are inside this packaging right here. Now let's get this stuff out of the way here, and let's actually start talking a lot about the mouse itself. So we'll just start over here. Now, this thing has a DPI, like I said before, from 100 DPI to 5600 DPI. Sensor type is laser. There are eight buttons. It's an RTS-type mouse. It has 128 kilobytes of memory. It has 40 macro keys and five gaming profiles, along with seven lighting color options. The dimensions are 123.65 by 73.8 by 40.2 millimeters. We give it two millimeters, and this thing's coming to market at about 60 bucks. So with that said, on the right-hand side, you see the first two of the buttons right here. Over here, we see additional buttons on top. We also have the scroller right here in the center. On the other, another button right here. And here's one of the lights right here. Now they say that when you're on this, you can actually change the different lights, but as you're clicking through it in game mode, I guess it automatically changes to a bunch of different lights as well. Um, now the DPI can be switched and you can see it right here on the mouse. It'll tell you what exactly is going on while you're gaming. So let's start off, folks. I turn it over. We'll take a look at the bottom of the thing. We can see that I took the little cover off right here to show you guys the weight. You have five different weight categories. I prefer to keep all five in. I like my mouse to be as heavy as possible. We have a lock unlock button. And above that, we have the laser. All right, folks. Now let's just count out the eight keys that you're going to have right here. Eight buttons, rather. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and button eight located on the right-hand side. This thing's not ambidextrous. It's definitely meant for a right-handed gamer. Pop that down. Last but not least, gold-plated connection. And if you're gonna be off and on the go, you, know, you just uh, zip the old bag up, throw the old mouse in the bag, and voila. Hasta la vista, baby. All right, folks, so there you guys have it, man. The Theron Blazing Red Gaming Mouse. All kinds of programmability, eight 
buttons. Very, very accurate in the DPI since it goes from 100 to 5600. It's going to have a lot of space for you. Me personally, if it's a 5600 DPI, that thing's going so fast across the screen, I don't know what the frack to do. If anything over 2000 for my old button, it's just moving too fast. But that's just me personally. Other people have it, and that's why they have the availability from 100 to 5600 because obviously different people have different likings. Now, like I said, this thing's coming to market at about $60. So if you're into a fire engine red or Ferrari red type mouse, you want it to match your badass system that you've custom made this may just be the mouse that you want to get in your arsenal like usual i hope you folks like and appreciate this video if so make sure you hit that like button and then down below the like button is the description section where if you've been interested in purchasing a mouse like this for yourself you guys can see all the details of what it is and where to buy it down there so i'm eric i'm going to go back and have some fun you guys peace out and we'll see you guys back here on tech of tomorrow